on to round two. Let's go back to Jenny and Matt for this one. This is the odd one out round, okay? So here we have four Billy Jeans. Which one is the Earth song? Job knob, backdoor jobs, adult work, and tuggling. It's a nice juvenile selection of uh, <laughs> names there. So can you guess which one is the odd one out of these ones? It's probably the most sensible way of sounding one, isn't it? So adult work? Adult work, Jenny? Go for it, yeah. Correct, oh. it is adult work. Uh, the other three are, in fact, all legitimate uh, yeah. job boards, with the exception of adult work, uh, which is concerned with the oldest profession in the world. Uh, Tuglink.com helps job seekers learn about company cultures while their friends and colleagues can make recommendations about what jobs they're suitable for. Backdoor Jobs is an outdoor and adventure job site that we believe was started after two farmers applied for a job on Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> job Knob is an American site, uh, a job board where more emphasis is placed on searching by your salary. And finally, adultwork.co.uk is a listing of prostitutes and escorts in the UK where salary, again, is a vital consideration before hiring that and finding out what the parking's like. Um, so we wanted to have a chat about job boards uh, and the future of job boards. There's quite a lot that's going on out there at the moment uh, with certain bloggers, Matt, who are saying that, um, that they can't stand still as they are. They need to get media rich, they need to change. What's the future of the job board? Um, it's an interesting question. Um, I, I think that, uh, that you know, the, the future of the job board um, you know, has, has, to, has to evolve. Um, you know, if, you, if you're just a, a very flat kind of aggregator of content um, that you know, um, gets picked up by other um, search engines and sources, I think that's fine. But if you're, um, if you're trying to be a job board in the middle ground and um, you know, you're offering employers kind of engaged candidates, um, then I think that um, really, um, um, you know, really, really embracing these tools is, um, um, is, is really important. I, I think that actually it's, it's all going to be about their content being portable. Um, and, and the jobs that they have being searchable via other means. I think that if you run a job board and you try and run it as a walled garden where you, know, you keep the candidates on there um, and you keep the jobs on there and um, um, you, you, don't really, um, you, you, know, you don't really try and pay attention to what's going on the, on the rest of the web, um, I, I think that's quite a dangerous strategy. So I think that um, you know, we'll see a lot of uh, evolution of job boards within the next, within the next two years. Chris, are you finding from your users that job boards are their primary source still for finding out information about stuff in terms of finding what, what availabilities there are? Um, I mean, job boards, I think they are important. They will always have a role to play. I think uh, the Sparta job boards now are trying to offer sort of extra, extra services, careers advice, all that sort of thing um, added on top to make them more than just a job board. And I think that's really important to differentiate them from the competition and certainly to differentiate from their competitors who aren't doing that sort of thing. So it's important that they concentrate on their core offering, but it's also important that they try and expand themselves out from being more than just a job board. So, okay. uh, Any other comments on job boards, guys, for you guys? The whole issue with Facebook groups and various things is you have to get people there. So mm. I think job boards potentially is still the, the medium to deliver them there, but where that will head in the future, I don't know. I think there will always be a place for, for job sites. Um, I think that because it's getting so competitive and there's so many, um, they need to do more and more things like have kind of video or have uh, uh, written content or have other stuff which brings the audience in as well. Um, especially with, with Google, to get kind of organic search and organic um, people coming into your site, you need to have more, more and more content. Um, so I think we'll find job sites adding more and more stuff to their sites in the next coming, coming years. Helen, Alex, job boards, what's the future? Hopefully, you know, this is a message that will resonate throughout the AGR. Is um, that brand is massively important. People remember that, and uh, you know, I, I will, I'm very dull at dinner parties, and you might sort of speak to people about where they might look for a job, and I'm constantly amazed that people would say, "Oh, I know, fish for all." monster and they're clearly in the IT sector at a high level but the reason they do that is the brand recall and yes they may then search elsewhere but if they're getting a good experience when they go there and the jobs are there so that's the important thing is about having a good experience and the jobs being there then they will survive but how they look may well change. Mm -hmm.